So the other day we left off having mentioned Auntie Dora. That's right. Let's carry on. From let's, there. Let's tell her story. All right, as much as I can. <clears throat> um, as I told you before, my mother had one sister and two brothers, and her sister was Auntie D my Auntie Dora. Uh, only 18 months between them. Dora was the eldest of the four children. Um, <clears throat> they were, this I also told you before, bereft. They lost their mother when they were very, very small. Auntie Dora being the eldest, six and a half years old at the time. And Whereas the, the other three children uh, found, what shall I say, good homes, um, good temporary homes uh, at that very tender age, um, my Auntie Dora went to an aunt and uncle. I really don't know the names of that aunt and uncle, whether it was brother and sister, uh, sister-in-law to my father or to... Uh, to my grandfather or to my grandmother, I'm, I really don't know, but she went to an aunt and uncle and um, her memories <coughs> of that time must have been very sad. I didn't ever speak to her about it, but this, my mother informed me that her time was a very sad time, those few years until she was 13 uh, when she lived with the uncle and aunt very much a little drudge uh, of the family, not treated as a, as a child should have been treated, or certainly not treated as a child of, a, of the house. So they were sad years for her, and I'm presuming that because of that, she didn't really want to be a kind of in charge of the family, like, like the little mother of the family, even though she was the eldest, she must have just about had enough of um, housework and uh, that kind of thing, you know, in all those years when she was um, taken into the aunt and uncle's care. So she opted to go to work, which also could not have been easy, but she went to work and it was my mother who stayed at home and was... Um, the little housekeeper. What can I tell you? Um, and <clears throat> they they lived on with their father and little brothers uh, through the next few years, certainly until my mother was 18 and Dora would have been 19 and a half. And um, because of my grandfather's remarriage, which wasn't a, a fortunate one, wasn't a happy one, not only for his children, but also for himself, as uh, it came to be seen. Um, the two el el elder ones, the girls, said very, they would very much like to go back to England and uh, stay together, which they did for the next few years until they met their husbands-to-be. And my Auntie Dora married my Uncle John. Very nice man, lovely person. And uh, <clears throat> really, I can't tell you too much more. They lived, I don't know if they lived at the same, in the same house all the years, but they probably did. And that was in Tottenham, which was in uh, the north of London, north London. And uh, they had, not only did my, my uh, auntie have a, a sad, um, well, quite a, a large portion of her early childhood, um, as I have told you, but they had two children, a little boy and a little girl, and both died. And this was before my cousin Martin and, and, and the, the, the two. They had four children, but first of all, a boy called Raymond, and uh, he would have been about my eldest brother's age. They were roughly corresponding in age. He at the age of about eight or nine, um, had appendicitis, and it was undetected as appendicitis, so 
a burst appendix, peritonitis, and they couldn't save his life. So he died. She also had a little girl called Norma, just a few years younger than the, her elder brother. And my aunt always took her to school every day. But on one occasion, just one, for whatever reason it was, she entrusted her into the care of someone else. And I'm not saying that someone else was at fault, but it just happened to be that day and the little girl ran into the road. And there, there were not motor vehicles, but it was a horse-drawn uh, cart or carriage or something. And she, poor little thing, was knocked down and she died of her injuries. So my aunt and uncle suffered great tragedy in their lives. A few years later, they had their two... Um, Elder, uh, younger sons, uh, Cyril, who always wanted to be known as Ricky. I don't think he liked his name Cyril at all. And my cousin Martin. And they live on to this day and they're both elderly men. But um, so they had a lot of sadness in their life and 